Hi everyone, I'm Chita Desai. Welcome back to AB Automation Hub. Today we are covering CI/CD for the QA engineers. This is the part of my ongoing interview series. If you have not watched the previous videos, I will attach a link. You can watch the ongoing interview series. Do you know how companies like Netflix can deploy the code changes thousands of times per day without breaking their service for millions of users? The secret behind this is CI/CD. And if you are a QA engineer looking to level up your career, then this is the skill set that will set you apart in your interviews. So, what exactly we are going to cover today? We will start with the basics. What CI/CD actually means. Then we will look at how the entire process works step by step. We will explore the most popular tools you should know about it, and I will also share some real time interview questions with the answers. Plus, I will share a use case. That shows the real impact you can make as a QA engineer in CI/CD. So let's get started. Let's start with the basics first. CI/CD stands for Continuous Integration and Continuous Deployment or Delivery. So what does that mean in real terms? Automatically building and testing the code changes multiple times per day. So instead of waiting until Friday to test everything together, which we all know can be risky, CI means every single code change gets tested immediately. So that is what I have mentioned here: automatically building, testing, and integrating code changes multiple times per day to catch the issues early and ensure the code quality. And what does CD means here? CD means continuous deployment. This is taking those tested changes and automatically pushing them to production with a minimal manual work. So that's what we have mentioned here: automatically deploying tested and validated code to production environment with the minimal. Manual intervention. So here is the real example. Companies like Netflix or Amazon they deploy multiple times per day. That means when a developer pushes the code at 2 p.m., it can be live for million of users at 2:15 p.m. But here is a key point for QA engineers: none of this is possible without the rock solid testing. And that's where QA comes in picture. We are not just finding the bugs anymore; the guardians of entire deployment pipeline. Now let me show you how exactly a CI/CD pipeline works. So I'm going to walk you through this step by step because understanding this process is important for any QA interview. So step one is developer pushes the code. A developer makes a change and commits the code into Git. This single action basically triggers everything that follows. The next step is build and compile. The system automatically grabs that code and builds the entire application and create all the necessary steps. In this also, no human activity involved here. Step three is automated testing. So here's where QA engineers come into the picture. The system runs our automated test. That means it runs unit test, integration test, and end-to-end -end test. And if any test fails over here, the pipeline stops immediately. Basically, the purpose is no bad code should reach production. And if everything passes, then the last step, which is deploy to the production. If all the tests pass, the code automatically deploys to the live environment where your real user can access it. The best thing about the process is speed and reliability. What used to take hours or days, now it can happen in minutes. And because everything is automated over here, there is very minimal chance of any human error. So now let's see this pipeline. If I click on the start pipeline, first step is developer pushes the code, compile and build, automate testing, and it will be deployed to production. So this is why companies prefer QA engineers who have the understanding of CI/CD because we are not slowing down the development; we are basically enabling it to go faster, safely. Now let's talk about the tools you need to know. In interviews, they will definitely ask you about this one. So let me give you the most popular ones. First one is GitHub Action. So this is probably the most popular right now. It is built right into GitHub. It uses viable files and has thousands of pre-built actions which you can use. The next one is Jenkins. It is again one of the most popular tools in the market. It is old, reliable. It has over eighteen hundred plugins, and many large companies today also still use Jenkins. It is little complex, but it is super powerful. Next one is GitLab CI, which gives you everything in one place: code repository, CI/CD, container registry, monitoring. So everything is included in this. The last but not the least, Azure DevOps. This is a Microsoft solution, especially popular if you are working with a .NET application or Azure Cloud Service, and it supports multiple languages. So here's the tool selection criteria. Also, 
consider your team size existing infrastructure cost learning curve and integration capabilities with your current development stack then only choose the right tool for your team now moving on to the next section one of the famous interview questions as well this is the question i get asked a lot so what's our role as qa engineers in all of this so we have three main responsibilities over here first one is the test strategy design we decide what test run when and where in the pipeline is it like should we run all the test cases on every commit probably not we should always run unit test first why because those are fast so as a qa engineer you need to decide which test should be executed at which stage of pipeline the next one is test automation we write and maintain the automated test that make or break the pipeline this is not about any web test automation anymore we are talking about the api test performance test and the security test over here next one is quality gates basically here we set the rules for what passes and what fails so we decide if test coverage drop below 80% then the pipeline should fail other example is if response time is above 3 seconds so in that case you should block the deployment all right so these are some of the examples but it again depends on your project in your organization as per the requirement you have the key thing here to remember is we are not just testers anymore we are also the quality enablers so we are making it possible for the teams to deploy fast and safely the daily qa responsibilities what we have mentioned here you can say i monitor my pipeline health in which i track the success rate i investigate the failures i optimize the test execution times and ensure the quality standards are maintained throughout the dev life cycle now let me break down the testing strategy that works in ci cd pipeline follow the testing pyramid approach that means 70% of your test cases should be at the unit test level why because these are faster these are isolated tests that gives you immediate feedback next one is the integration test so these test how different parts work together for example api databases services talking to each other coming to the next one which is end to end test which is basically your taking the critical user journey and these are little slow but these are valuable for the key flows next one is the performance test in which you can do load testing you can do stress testing and you can do the response time validation next one is security and port quality very very important in which you do static application security testing which is also called as sast and you do dynamic application security testing which is called as dast so here we also do the sonar cube analysis then we have contract testing in which api contract validation between microservices are tested and in this case you can use tools like pact so real time example we run 2000 unit test in 3 minutes 200 integration test in 5 minutes and 20 end to end test in less than 7 minutes so this is one of the example taken from netflix so this is based on your testing pyramid strategy where basically 70% is unit test case 20% is the integration test case and 10% is the end to end test case now let me show you one real github action workflow which i have built so this is an example in which we are running both cypress and playwright test together so in this we have two jobs one is for the playwright other is for the cypress and in playwright first of all we are using open to latest then we are checking out the code we are installing dependencies we are installing playwright and then we are running the playwright script over here and in the end we are also uploading the artifacts artifact here basically is playwright report and same thing with the cypress also here we are also running cypress test case which is running on this version of ubuntu which is 22.04 and in this case also checking out the repositories and then we are using cypress github action and then we are using the command npm run cypress test headless which is a script in our package.json now moving on to the next section these are the questions which are asked quite often in the qa interviews so the first question here is how would you implement testing in a ci cd pipeline so here's how you can answer you can say i would implement multi stage testing approach so first of all unit test case would be executed followed by the integration test and then a subset of end to end test that will be only for the critical part so that's what we have mentioned here i would like to start with the fast test first which is basically your unit test that check individual piece of the code they run in about 2 to 3 minutes and catches the most bugs quickly then i add integration test to make sure 
different parts of the application work together and finally i add few end to end test for the most important user action action like login or checkout all right so here just note this unit test case is mostly covered by the developers so as a qa you are responsible for integration test and your end to end test case but as part of the pipeline there should be unit test case integration test case and the end to end test case all right next question is what's your strategy for handling the flaky test case so flaky test case as we all know are really pipeline killers so here you can see my first approach will be to move flaky test to a separate suite so that they don't block deployment because we know as part of ci cd in case if your test case is failed the deployment will be stopped so if the test case is flaky we move that to a separate suite so that they don't block the deployment second thing is i add some retry logic over here third is i improve the test isolation and the fourth approach which i use as part of the flaky test case handling is use the test impact analysis to run only the relevant test so this is what we have mentioned here if a test keeps failing randomly i move it out of the main suite so it does not block the others then i check the reason usually the timing or the cleanup issue i fix it with a retry and i also track flaky test case in a sheet for each sprint both answers are specific and it shows your real experience so that's what separates good candidate from the great ones all right now let's talk about numbers in ci cd everything is measurable and the interviews are mostly looking forward to this candidates who can think in the metrics so here are the four key metrics every qa engineer should track first one is the pipeline success rate So ninety five percent. This tells how stable your pipeline is. If it is below ninety five percent, then you have a reliability issue. Second one is the pipeline duration, which should be under fifteen minutes ideally. But again, it depends on your project also. If your pipeline takes more than an hour, then the deployment process will also slow down. Next one is the test coverage. So minimum it should be eighty percent. This gives you confidence in the code quality. but do not obsess over 100% code coverage in the start because it keeps on improving over the time so initially go with a target of 80% then slightly increase it to 85 90 and then then it should keep on increasing last one is the mean time to recovery that is expected to be under 30 minutes so when things break how quickly you can fix them this measures your incident response time why do all this matrix matter because they show the business impact a reliable fast pipeline means more frequent deployment which means faster feature delivery which means happier customer and more revenue so that's the reason these metrics actually matter but this is just a sample it varies from project to project and organization to organization now we can also ask you about some real time example in case you already have an experience about a real time project you can share your experience for example in one of my previous projects we reduced the deployment time from Two hours to fifteen minutes just by implementing the CI/CD pipeline. So, what are the things we considered? We added the parallel execution, which basically saved a lot of time. In parallel, we were running our test cases. We implemented the smart test selection. So, we implemented first smoke test, then regression. So, this smart test selection is very important criteria over here. Next one is added some comprehensive monitoring, alerting, and automatic rollback capabilities. Included used blueprint deployments for the zero downtime release. Establish the quality gates with automatic blocking for failed test case. Like I said earlier, also in case if any test case get failed, it will block your deployment. And what was the impact? The results were really great. There was a high increase in the deployment frequency, ninety nine point nine percent uptime achieved, and time to market also reduced from weeks to days. So this is the kind of impact story that will get you hired. It shows how you understand the business value. and not just the technical details having the technical details along with the business value is a deadly combination right so you should know the metrics you should know the numbers and you should also know the technical details and that's everything you need to know about ci cd as a qa engineer so now let me quickly recap the key points we learned about ci cd ci cd is about automatically building testing and deploying your code changes safely and quickly as a qa engineer we must design the testing strategy write automation test and set the quality gates and we also learned about some of the most popular tools in the market which are basically github actions jenkins 
GitLab CI and Azure DevOps. Also, always remember the testing pyramid, which is basically your 70% unit test case, 20% integration test case, and 10% end-to-end -end test. And don't forget to track your metrics, which is very important thing. Pipeline success rate, duration, test coverage, and the time to recovery. So that's all for today's video. If you found this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And drop a comment with ACD approach, which you are following the other CACD questions which we have faced in, in your interviews. Maybe that can help others also. Yeah, that's all. And thank you for watching AV Automation House.